I've already lost, as you'll see on the video, hopefully, I've already lost the biggest chunk of gold I've ever found in my life. Only gold, chunk of gold I've ever found in my life. Just a chunk of gold? Yeah, thought I could have retired. Man. Now I gotta stick to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Real Cool Adventures. We're at the Boynton Inlet and we're diving for treasure. Gold, lead, and pretty much anything we can find. My good friend Dan, his lovely wife Jen, and Cam's about to get run over by this car, and we'll see you in a minute. Stack it up. Stack it up. How old is that air? 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna believe it. Since that hurricane, and it swept all this stuff in. Found part of a cold bracelet in there. Hopefully, I didn't drop it. Adrenaline's going so hard. It was shining on the bottom. I don't know about this bag I got. Oh God, please don't tell me I lost it. We're gonna have to do a part two and go back and find it. I found a full on gold bracelet. You'll see it on the video. Oh, well, that hurts my feelings. Oh my gosh. I have to cry. I'm going back. 
Is that it? Please God. <sighs> it slipped. It was like a quarter of a, like something off of a ship. I'm not even joking. And I put it in the bag and it squeezed through here. I'm going back. I gotta go find it. It's still out the bag. It's on the video. We're gonna have to do a part two. I don't know if I'll ever find it again. The current got me. I started spinning around. Almost got sucked out. That's where I lost you. I'm gonna cry. So I went out and I was picking up weights, as you'll see on the video. And then I, I found part of this gold bracelet. And I was so excited, rather than keep finding stuff, I tried to bring it back. And I think it slipped through the hole of this when I got caught in the current, it started spinning around. Tearing my bag. So, there's gold in these parts of the water. You can use those lead weights and buy a new dive bag. All right, so guys, this was completely awesome. This is probably one of the best days of my life. It is the best day of my life. But we found all this in about 30 minutes, and it's probably at least a couple hundred dollars worth of lead. And there's a lot of things you can find in the, in the water. You'll see the gold we found that it's still out there. So if one of you want to come find it, now you know where it is. It's out there. But you've got gold, uh, silver, copper, um, other precious metals. And this is one of those metals that are valued um, and they're just hard to come by. Fisherman's gold. Fisherman's gold. Florida Fool's gold. Mm -hmm. You can come and find stuff like this without spending any money, because no matter what, if you fish, you will always need lead to get ahead. This one really does have barnacles. Oh, what is that? I know. It looks I thought like it was a... like a missile or something. What in the world? I just threw it in the... I don't know what that is, but oh, it's something ancient, that's It's for got sure. a barnacle. It looks very old. Is that a valve stem for a tire? No. Valve stem for a Russian sub, maybe. If anybody knows what that is, or if we should sell it on eBay, or what it's worth, leave it in the description below, because I have no clue what, what that, that is. is, but it's heavy, too. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. definitely... Yeah, but if you look, look at the at, intricate um, design, it looks like it's like maybe from Thailand or India. Well, look at the patina, too. It's like brass, yeah, right? Very strange. Is it a bullet or something? I don't know oh, what it's that a is. bullet. It's an old bullet. That's no. the casing, right? And that would be the primer? You know what? That's totally possible. Very deteriorated if it is. I wonder if it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. There's definitely gonna be a part two to this. Um, it's getting ready to get dark, but we're coming back on the next moon and after a hurricane and see what else we can find. If you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up. We had a ball and we'll see you on the next adventure.